Good morning, YouTube. We are back at it with the 348. Maybe we're gonna get that sucker in the car today, or at least close. It'll start to go in. I think it's a good prediction. It'll start, it'll be like half in, maybe. We got a little bit of buttoning up. Pretty close, pretty close. This video and the entire series has been sponsored by Recambi America, so go visit recambiamerica.com, use the code NGS10, get 10% off. They're badass, they support this sort of stuff. That's pretty awesome. You got tons of OEM parts for Ferrari and Maserati. Amazing customer service, and they send you candy bars in every order. Can't beat that. Can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, ah! Starting off the day by Yanking out a bunch of vacuum lines that are no longer necessary since the catalytic converters are going away. A bunch of that stuff's gonna go bye-bye because of that. We don't need all a bunch of these vacuum lines like this little can and we disconnected the vacuum line there and these little vacuum lines here. So that's actually gonna make it look a lot cleaner. So we still have the pulleys and the belts. A bunch of little rink dink things that we gotta just kind of button up and Make sure we got right, because once it's in there, it's gonna be much, much more difficult to actually change anything if we screwed up. So this is one fuel pump, that's the other one that's already taken apart. And we got some uh, rubber bits that degrade over time, so we're gonna replace the rubber bits. And this O-ring appears to be shot. There, see that, bye-bye. So I'm gonna do that while Tim's doing that. Jeez, that sucker was on there. Yeah tight and it's been installed for 27 years uh-huh oh, different sizes so for some reason this one's eight millimeter this one's seven millimeter so that way you don't cross your positive and negative parts. yeah i guess that makes sense there we go there we go What? It's kind of surreal when you're working on a car while listening to yourself working on a car and video. Right? I love Andy. Andy's got classic like car guy phrases. And he sounds like such an American car guy as well. Oh yeah. Oh my god, there's no room for anything. Yeah dude, it's not a Ford Fairmont. <laughs> that thing's badass. I bet it is. I bet it's a riot to drive. Jackpot! That is pretty gross. I'm just gonna kinda try and scrub off this corrosion. And we're moving the old rubber corrosion crap. So we've got the fuel pump gasket, 60 millimeter, part number 126809. This is this rubber thingy. We have the it's just this plate. So it's part number 126807. It's this weird fidget spinner looking thing that goes in the, yeah, in the between this piece and the metal right there. So it's kind of like an isolator. Now we gotta put this fuel pump gasket on. Get over these lumps. Oh. Oh, there. Sweet. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna blast on the crank pulley with the impact gun because, uh, hell yeah, Cause America, because yeah. America. <laughs> It may never come off again. <laughs> so the AC belt is 199819 and the alternator belt is 199822. So the drain plug for the oil 
is part number 1026-1860. So that's the crush washer and then we have a drain plug. So there we are. Ooh, ah, that goes right there on the front. There you go. That thing's on there. Sweet. Yeah. That's at least six ugly duggas. You gonna break them or am I gonna break them? Go for it, dude. As aesthetically pleasing as these are, they actually have a functional value as well because there's it doesn't do any good if your ignition wires are flopping all around and getting close to the exhaust manifolds and or the heat rails, you know, all that stuff. So, so this is one of those little details that always drives me crazy. You know, on your flat rate budget timing belt service, these never get replaced. Yeah, mules. Yeah. <laughs> wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Jesus. Oh my God. That's horrible. Last time we had a dis disappointment because of uh, a dead battery. We'll see if we have a, a repeat disappointment or if we actually get the glorious open headers. Here, fuel pump. I mean, I came. <laughs> it's close. Really close. It's when close becomes touching that it's a problem. Correct. Yeah, the flashlight's on the right front corner. Well, you got plenty of room over here. You're back on the lift, Timo. So we have the conundrum of what to do with the jankity sterile wires that are still here. It's not what, it's how. Yeah, we know how. what to do with it. Yeah, the, the what is get rid of them. The how is, mm, Should we? Lots of wire cutting and praying. So we're gutting the uh, 1992, what was that Viper alarm or whatever? <laughs> Big blue wire and all this crap back here is all just ancient stereo. So you're installing fuel filters? Yep. Ooh, there's the new shiny fuel filters. Ooh, ah. Uh. Hear about that? No. So we, we're gonna take this is the radiator plug that six times out of five will fail. Oh yeah. Oh, quack. don't tell me. Oh yeah. God damn it. Yep. It break. Quack. Thing. Of course, they always break. <sighs> six out of five times they break. <laughs> and it's still plastic. It's yeah. part number one four zero one four nine. So you will definitely need to order one of those if you're doing this. <laughs> if you do anything involving oh, removal of the radiator drain plug, yeah. you should order at least two of them in advance. Yeah, that's a good idea. If you're guessing you order one, get a spare. You might strip it putting it in. Yeah, I mean, it's plastic. It's... <laughs> <laughs> it should just include it in the kit for the overall. You know thing. what? After two months of doing this, Josh is really getting to know me. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Don't break. But the good thing about it is it's got a brass insert, so it's easy to clean out oh, okay. after when after it you, does break. Yeah. We're wrapping up for today. Well, we start tomorrow, and that starts to go here. Hooray. Yay. 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 I get to drive it next week. Jinxed. I hope so. <laughs> I do, too. I'm really tired of looking at this. Not bad. Yes. I'm tired of not hearing it. All right, YouTube. That's going to wrap it up for today. We'll continue tomorrow. We'll get that sucker in there. Hopefully. Hopefully. This video was sponsored by Recambi America. Go visit recambiamerica.com. Use the code NGS10. Get 10% off your order. We're going to continue the 348 major, major, and get that sucker back in there and hopefully have it running next weekend. Oh, 
Oh, please, please. We'll see you soon. We're going to be doing a lot of car stuff. It's going to be sweet.